These car brands are dying right now. Is the American dream of owning a car fading away? From soaring car prices to mounting debt, the crisis-hit car industry could very well be on its way to losing car brands that were once household names for all Americans. Today's video is more like an eye-opening emergency briefing, a red alert on the state of the U.S. automotive market. Everyone understands the cultural relevance of cars. It's more than a symbol of status and luxury. Cars define our freedom, especially if you're an American. As per the debt volume, having cars is the third most important thing in the American dream after mortgages and student loans. The auto loan debt of the country is at a whopping $1.55 trillion. What was once an unconscious necessity for the average man is now succumbing to economic conditions. But it's not just the people. Car brands that once adorned American roads are now reporting their poorest sales figures in years. So what's going wrong? The COVID shockwaves have not left the global market to this date. If skyrocketing car prices from microchip shortages were not enough, wave after wave of inflation made sure to squeeze out the working man. People have had to take out bigger loans for new cars. The latest average of auto loan requests is $40,000, a 25% increase in just three years. And the story doesn't stop there for the common man. Interest rates keep rising. This means that unless someone buys a car at an outright inflated price, they will end up paying more in the long run. A lot more. It almost feels like an evil scam that's entirely legal. Or maybe capitalism itself is an evil scam to begin with. After all, loan lenders purposely give out loans to subprime borrowers to keep them stuck. Uh, but things have gotten worse in the automotive industry. Even prime loan borrowers, otherwise known as people with good credit scores, are struggling to keep up. Car repossession for missed payments is at an all-time high. All of this in no way normal and sustainable for the average American. Financial advisors recommend that car payments must always remain under 10% of after-tax income. And yet, an American couple with a median household income pays 16% of their income in car loan payments. As for an individual, that percentage goes to 23% for new and 17% for used cars. It all indicates one unavoidable truth. People are too broke and trapped in the loan cycle to buy new cars. That has put even the most popular names through a grind. Across the board, car sales have never been so low in recent history. So let's take a look at car brands hit worse by the crisis. Number 1. Chrysler Chrysler, a brand born and raised in the U.S. and almost a century old. It's known to produce eye-catching premium vehicles that compete with giants like Cadillac, Packard, Cord, and Lincoln. It's even recognized as one of Detroit's big three automakers alongside Ford and General Motors. Although weaker than those two, but still, Chrysler is a huge deal. But as of late, Chrysler has a tale of the struggle to tell. Just last December, it closed the year with a staggering decline in sales. It sold merely 25,052 vehicles, a 39% drop compared to the previous year. Even commercial fleet customers have reduced their purchases of the brand's cars. Before, Chrysler's CEO had shown hopes for a swift recovery, especially with the launch of gorgeous new models. But the sales dropped by another 9% in the first quarter of this year. It seems that new models really don't have the necessary allure. At least, not enough for people to tolerate even higher debt pressure. Number 2. Jaguar A prominent name in the sports and luxury car industry, and as per Bloomberg, was once in 2016 the hottest car brand in the United States. But even a promising prospect like Jaguar paints a worrisome picture of decreasing demand and challenges in the market. Closing out last year, it sold just 4,048 vehicles, a 34% drop from the previous year. Its once Car of the Year, the Jaguar I-Pace edition, recorded its lowest number of sales since launch. In the last quarter of 2022, it sold only 1,146 units. Well, Jaguar is one of those brands hit the hardest by the semiconductor shortage era. Together with the economic hell that followed, the numbers could only go in one direction, down. 
These aren't times of luxury for most people, and Jaguar, unfortunately, has always branded itself in luxury. Number 3. Alfa Romeo Alfa Romeo is the worst performing car brand on our list. To say that they are going through a rough patch would be an understatement. In December 2022, they sold just around 2,390 vehicles, which is a significant drop of 47% compared to the previous year. Ouch! That's a big dip. And it's not just a one-time thing. Their overall sales in 2022 didn't fare too well either. As of this year, though they seem to appear to be gaining some level of ground in the home market, North America continues to shrink its sales. How are they going to attempt a solution in this storm? According to CNN, Alfa Romeo's current lineup is the opposite of a traditionally sumptuous Italian meal. For Alfa Romeo to have any hope of greatly increasing its sales, a new SUV is badly needed. According to the Detroit Bureau, a new SUV should juice sales somewhat next year. Let's hope there will be some life left in our modest Italian brand by the end of 2023. At number 4 is Buick. One would hope that Buick, a division of General Motors, would have the foresight and experience to circumvent this situation. But even Buick has made it to our list. According to The Drive, Buick experienced a significant decline in American sales, a staggering 42.43% drop in 2022. In December 2022, their sales figure stood at 38,138 vehicles. That's quite a large decrease and indicates a lot of challenges for the brand. At number 5, Land Rover. And this one truly hurts. Land Rover is one of the most renowned and incredible four-wheel manufacturers, and it is even going through the worst time since its beginning. The off-road luxury Prince of America has had fluctuating sales numbers since the start of 2022. By the end of last year's quarter, Land Rover had grown from 18,904 sold units to 32,601. And yet the slivers of hope were short-lived. It sold only 17,400 units in the first quarter of 2023, which dropped even further to 10,471 units in the second quarter. At number 6, Genesis, a luxury brand for the modest in America. Genesis had been steadily growing its popularity in America as a luxury division of the Hyundai Motor Company, all until the crisis hit, that is. Now, the numbers aren't something to be proud of. The brand saw a steady increase in sales. Sold units rose from 9,728 to 13,994, reaching a peak in the third quarter of 2022. There was a significant decline in sales following that period. In Q2 2023, sales were a mere 3,893 units, representing a 59.97% drop. A drop like that with slow-paced market stability will show the exit door to almost any brand. At number 7, Volvo. A brand that has built a reputation in safety and innovation couldn't quite mark itself safe in this crisis. According to the latest data, Volvo experienced a significant drop in sales. In the first quarter of 2022, Volvo sold 30,349 vehicles, reflecting a decent start to the year. Yet by the second quarter of 2023, sales had plummeted to 9,611 vehicles. This represents a staggering decline of approximately 68.23% in sales. With that being said, all these brands have been a victim of a series of crises in the U.S. automotive market. Inflation, supply and demand crisis, and rising interest rates. These brands have been through it all. From Chrysler and Jaguar to Alfa Romeo, Buick, Land Rover, Genesis, and Volvo, each brand has its own story. And that's not all. In the economic mayhem, millions of Americans were caught in the used car bubble. They had to pay more and they are now stuck paying even more. That means even if the market stabilizes for new cars, the customer base isn't likely to return anytime soon.